Welcome to another video from Guaylao 60. I get a lot of flack on my channel in the comment section and they say to me, Guaylao, you just sugarcoat everything. There's, it doesn't matter what happens in China, uh, you'll say it's okay. Well, no, actually it's not. There are some things in China that I just freaking hate. And it's not just the people of China that, that do this, it's the government that allows it. Talking about smoking cigarettes. My God, Martha, they smoke in restaurants. You got a sign sitting up on the wall saying, no smoking. And then there's a guy sitting right underneath that's smoking a cigarette. And his buddy across the table smoking a cigarette. We went to dim sum the other day. And I took a, a video of this on my uh, cell phone, my Huawei cell phone. I still like the Huawei better than the Apple. Uh, and I'm going to put it in this video so you, so, so you know I'm not bullshitting you. But uh, yeah, they're smoking. See, I think 42% of all cigarettes in the world are made in China. I read somewhere that seven, between seven and 10% of the money that the government collects on uh, taxes comes through cigarettes. It's whack it, whack it, whack it cash. Uh, 350 million smokers in China. 350 million smokers. That's like every man, woman, and child in the United States with a cigarette hanging out of their mouth. You know what I mean? I see it on the streets. I see it basically everywhere. When I started coming to China in 2003, you would never see a girl smoking. Maybe in the, in the rural areas, the odd one. But in the city, no, it was sort of taboo. Now you see, see girls smoking all the time. Young girls, teenagers smoking. We did a video driving around a village, Wei Fong and I here, and we put it out, I don't know, a week or two ago. And uh, I got so many comments on the two young guys that we were asking directions from. They both had a cigarette in their hand. They might have been 15, 16 years old. And uh, that's what brought this video on, actually, just for the fact that there were so many people that made comments about smoking in China. And uh, I have to agree, the government should do more to curb the smoking here in China. The people should understand that, well, smoking's going to kill you sooner or later. There is no ifs, ands, or buts about it. There's lung cancer, there's uh, COPD, and ask me about that because I smoked for like 35 freaking years, dumb as a stump, and uh, I'm paying for it. Like I walk up a mountain, I'm, I'm, I'm out of breath because of smoking, because of smoking for 35 years. So I know the health effects that the, it, can, it can bring upon you. In your older years, when you're young, you're, you're 10 feet tall and bulletproof. When you get my age, not so much anymore. Is that a beer, Guela? Yes, but I can still drink beer. But the thing is, the government makes a lot of money off of this. The Chinese government, all governments around the world make a lot of money off their cigarettes. You know, it's, it's one of those things that they can tax the living bejesus out of. But they're not thinking of the health costs now and in the future. Uh, with 350 million people smoking, how many people are going to die from lung cancer? How many people are going to have COPD? How many people's relatives, because they're around secondhand smoke, are going to get lung cancer? How many people are going to live out their life on an oxygen tank when they get older because of smoking. Sure, the government's great in, in curbing pollution, air pollution in China, and they've done a great job. Got to give them kudos for that. And then they promote cigarettes because it makes money. See, I'm not a, I'm not a, a when, when, something, when something's wrong, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it's wrong, and, and this is wrong. It's, it's one of those things that people in China should shake their heads, put those cigarettes away, 
and it comes from a cultural point of view. And when I say it comes from a cultural point of view, um, when you go out and you make business meetings with other people, here, have a cigarette. If somebody offers you a cigarette and you don't take it, the other guy loses face because he's offering you something. So you take it and you smoke the cigarette. Uh, uh, giving a carton of cigarettes to somebody as a present is uh, a common thing here in China. And uh, because cigarettes are so inexpensive here in China, when uh, anybody brings out a cigarette, they're always offering cigarettes to other people. If they tax the live and bejesus out of it, made it expensive as hell in China, less Chinese people would smoke. So uh, uh, when a place like Canada makes a pack of cigarettes worth 15 or 20 bucks because most of it is uh, taxes, yeah, I can, I can, uh, I can get behind that. You know, uh, don't tax a beer, tax the cigarettes. Beer is good. Cigarettes are bad. Let's all say that together now. <laughs> but you know what I mean. Uh, you get nothing out of it. You're filling your body full of chemicals. You're, uh, you're not helping anybody. You're not helping yourself, and that's for damn sure. And it's a habit that it took me a long time to kick. You know, it's one of those things that I was craving cigarettes for about two and a half years after I quit smoking cigarettes. One day I just put them down and uh, never picked them back up again. A lot of people can't do that. My mother smoked until she was 78 or 79 years. Well, actually, she smoked until she died of lung cancer. So I've seen what it can do. Um, Wei Fong's mother died of lung cancer. Wei Fong's mother's brother, heavy smoker, died of lung cancer. Uh, so when you when you look at the, the medical costs associated with, well, Wei Fong's mom never smoked, but she was around smokers. If you look at the medical costs associated with smoking cigarettes uh, and the money that the government makes off of selling cigarettes, I think they probably cancel each other out just for the fact that the medical expenses are going to go through the frickin' roof. 350 million people? Are you guys on frickin' drugs or what the hell's the matter with you? Uh, no, 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 no. No more smoking cigarettes. From now on in China, it's it's against the law. Oh, would not would not work. And uh, the medical system in. in I think they said, I read somewhere, I, I read up on this here uh, a little while ago. 60% of doctors smoke cigarettes in China. 60%. Well, there's a good role model for you. You know what I mean, guys? So, the idea that I sugarcoat everything in China, that's, that's, that's bullshit. China has a lot going for it. China does a lot of good things. China does a lot for their citizens. The government of China has done very well in dealing with COVID and, and alleviating poverty, extreme poverty. There's still poverty here. Uh, they've, they've done a lot in moving their country forward over the last 40 years. They're not perfect. They still need to do more on uh, uh, helping old people, old age, uh, old folks homes. And uh, the number one problem that I see in China today is smoking cigarettes. They got to stop that. They got to stamp it out. They, well, they'll never stamp it out because when you get into the farm areas, they grow their own tobacco. Not only do they grow their own tobacco, but they make their own water pipes out of bamboo. And uh, I showed this in a video a while back. And uh, you know, the idea that it's 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 sort of entrenched in the culture and, and stuff is one of those things that uh, they'll never really get rid of, but they can curb the kids from smoking by charging a lot more for the cigarettes, taxing a little bejesus out of the cigarettes. Sure, a lot of these cigarette companies are government owned and it would hit them in the pocketbook today, but tomorrow, because of the medical expenses that they're gonna save, I think would probably save them money in the, in the, in the long run. So uh, yeah. Now that's my take on that, and that's another video from Grey Lao 60. It's not really a rant video, it's more of a, uh, I see something wrong, and it's, it, uh, it sort of got to me the other day when I was sitting uh, having dim sum with Wei Fong, and 
two people right next door to us, uh, the next table were smoking their freaking brains out. And I left early because it was making me sick to my stomach. Anyway, that's another video from Guaylao 60. If you like this video, as always, like, comment, subscribe, push that share button. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to resubscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell. And don't forget to put a couple bucks in the children's Patreon account. It's for a good cause. Thanks for watching. Bye now. And uh, yes, I'm still on the top of the mountain, guys. We're uh, here for another day. And what a better place to make this video than in a clean, pristine place like this with birds singing and no pollution. Not one person on this mountain is smoking a goddamn cigarette. What a dirty habit that is. Oh, duh. How would you like to have a girlfriend that smokes cigarettes and when you kissed her it would be like licking an ashtray? Ew.